Welcome out to the Yipka Geeky Show, episode number 10. I am your host for the evening, Eugene Stevens. Our opening question comes from, well, one of our uh, one of our members, Ray, sent us the question, Simpsons or Family Guy? Cyrus Martin, Simpsons or Family Guy? Oh, wow, that's interesting. Um, huh. Oh, well, you got to go with the Simpsons. Now, don't get me wrong. I have enjoyed Family Guy. There, I think it has passed its prime, probably, but uh, I have enjoyed it. Now, you could say the same about The Simpsons, but The Simpsons is so entrenched into our entire culture, probably, that, I mean, there, there would be no Family Guy without The Simpsons, so I got to go, I got to go with that. Very true, very true. Mm -hmm. Lewis, uh, Simpsons or Family Guy? Family Guy. Really? <laughs> Simpsons, sh Simpsons sh should have had their plug pulled years ago, a long time ago, and they're just stringing it along just to say, the longest running show is Family Guy. I don't disagree with that either, by the way. You make okay. good points. Rudy? You make good points. I agree with both points. However, I enjoy a lot more of The Simpsons, so I have to go with The Simpsons. Yeah. That's it. All right, Lainey, Simpsons or Family Guy? Definitely Simpsons. I hate Family Guy. I hate it. Why do, you hate, why, do you, why do you hate it specifically? Every person I've ever known, especially like guys my age, they just they love Family Guy. I've seen so many episodes, and it's just stupid. I hate it so much. I I like the, I I kind of agree with Sai. Like The Simpsons, I feel like is so much more entrenched in like pop culture as we know it, and it's just been a huge part of so many by different things force. That's happened. I feel like. I feel like I grew up with it, so it has a special place in my heart. But it definitely like should have been like taken off the air a while ago. I'm going to have to weigh in here. I'm definitely going to say um, definitely in substance. Um, I liked Family Guy for quite a while. Actually, I liked Family Guy when it was the original show, and then it got canceled, and then it came back, and I thought, wow, this is awesome! It's coming back, and it was really good. And then. Like literally, and I mean, you, there are interviews with. I mean, I wrote an article about it on you know the previous site, and they've talked to um, um, what's it, Seth MacFarlane, and he's flat out said, "I would really like to quit doing this show because I'm tired of doing this show." Um, but they keep dumping trucks of money in my house, so I'm going to keep doing the show so that I can do the other stuff that I want to do. I mean, if that douche nozzle doesn't want to do it anymore, and yeah, I'm like. You can definitely tell they've they've done they've definitely jumped the shark well a long time ago. Now the thing about the Simpsons is they still have occasional good episodes, and I mean they had good seasons, they had bad seasons. You know they've gone back and forth. Is it probably time for them to hang it up? I would say so, but I mean once again it, it's one of those things that they obviously have at least a, a big enough following that they're they're. You know, still have the show on the air, um, but yeah, The Simpsons is just. When, Cy hit it right. Uh, with we would not have Family Guy without. We wouldn't have most everything we have now. You know, animated wise, without The Simpsons, uh, Adult Swim. Um, I mean, it it was groundbreaking, and you know the fact you know some of the stuff that they got away with. Um, but yeah, there are just so many jokes in The Simpsons that I use even today that. I just I love The Simpsons. It's uh, I haven't really watched it in a while, but going back and watching those older episodes, you can go back and watch those older episodes, and they're still funny as all hell. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna say The Simpsons as well. All right. Uh, speaking of uh, animated affair, uh, tonight um, I got the idea from for this a while back for tonight's topic. Um, uh, we we talked about Saturday morning cartoons a while back. Whenever we did the the uh, Saturday morning. Um, uh, uh, draft, and uh, we brought up several different cartoons that later went on to uh, were aired in the afternoons, and it was called uh, uh, the Disney Afternoon. One of the episode or one of the shows that they had on during the uh, Disney Afternoon was a show called Tailspin. Now, Tailspin was an interesting show because it took uh, characters from a pre-existing Disney uh, movie and basically kind of altered them, changed them, and injected them into a well, Sai, you heard that it was based off of a of, off of a uh, TV show, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, Tailspin, man, I can't remember that show. Yeah, but there was a. I used to watch this show, 
back in the 80s, and it, had, it starred the guy from uh, Seventh Heaven, the guy that turned out to be a pedophile. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, the dad from Seventh Heaven was the star yeah. of the show. Yeah. And, yeah, it, it was... I, and a, I, I'm probably unique in this, because when I first saw Tailspin, I immediately was like, this is that show. And uh, it was very surreal to me, and most people never even heard of that show. But yeah, it's pretty strange because you got you know it's the bar, it's during World War Two, and you know uh, you know he's flying the plane. It's the same plane. Uh, he looks. He's wearing the same outfit. Is you know it's like it's very strange. Yeah. See, I'd always heard it was based off of a movie. Um, and looking at like some of the different things, um, you know, I've I've seen it referenced on like uh, Wikipedia and stuff that was based off of a off of this, this old movie, and they have flat out said that like uh, the one the female bear character on there was based off directly off of um, uh, the one character on Cheers. They've specifically said, yeah, we pulled characters from different things and kind of you know you know changed it around or whatever, but. The bottom line is they took Disney characters, uh, pre-existing Disney characters, and they modified them so that they would fit into a different movie or TV show. Uh, so that's what we're going with tonight. We're going to come up with some cartoons that uh, we're going to take pre-existing Disney characters from you know, some of the things that they've done, and we're going to modify them so that they can fit into a different movie or something. Um we, we probably are going to have to do a, a little riffing. Uh, unfortunately, some of us didn't get uh, uh, a lot of... It's been it's been a hellish week on some of us. I'll just leave it at that, folks. But um, that being said, we're going to come up with some episodes or some shows here. And I'm going to go ahead and start off. Um, this was the first thing that came to my mind. Um, one of the, the, the animated movies from Disney that I loved... I, I, I haven't watched it in years. It's one of those ones that I really want to show my boys. Um, I loved The Great Mouse Detective. Uh, primarily because I love Sherlock Holmes. I love Sherlock Holmes stories. I love, you know, a lot of things that have to do with Sherlock Holmes, both the movies, the the British uh, uh, TV show Sherlock. I, I just love that character and that storyline. So, of course, you know, they did Disney did an animated movie called The Great Mouse Detective. It's basically mouse version Sherlock Holmes. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to take some of those characters and I'm going to put them into a, a TV uh, series. And the first thought was, well, it'd be way too easy just to do, like, to riff off of you know the modern day you know Sherlock show or like there's the there is the um, the the one that's on CBS um, I, th I think it is called Sherlock Holmes but um, yeah I was like no I I need to change it up a little bit so instead of doing instead of doing a direct you know Sherlock Holmes redo uh, I was like what other crime shows or what other crime things are out there that people really like that maybe we could adapt this for kids. So we're going to take characters from The Great Mouse Detective and we're going to cross it with CSI. Um, if you remember the cartoon, the main character's name was Basil. He was the Sherlock Holmes mouse. Uh, he's going to be our lead investigator. Mr. Dawson, the Watson character, we was the bumbling fool. Um, he's going to be you know, an investigator. He's also going to be our comic relief. Um, there was a little girl in there. Uh, she's gonna be the newbie. She's gonna be the one that we're we're uh, you know training or whatever. Um, I forgot about this. Like I had to go look this up. Miss Kitty Mouse. Yeah. Was the dancing girl. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's gonna be our badass scientist. Yeah. Because uh, you know we're gonna have a little girl power going on there. So, um, let's see here. There was Toby the hound dog. He's gonna be our transport. Bill the lizard. He's gonna be our handyman. Um, and then the, the, the villain of the piece was, was uh, Radigan. He was basically Moriarty. Um, I'm going to make him, I'm going to do a little twist here. He's going to be the chief. He's also going to be our villain. We're not going to know it. You know, we're, we're going to twist this around a little bit for the kids. So, yeah, I thought maybe we could take characters from The Great Mouse Detective and switch it up with CSI. And that could be, well, I don't know, I don't have a name for it. Um, I thought maybe CS Mouse, something along those lines, or... I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to workshop that. But uh, thoughts? I like it. I would totally watch that. <laughs> I just think like I mean they you know we've done CSI to death. The the trope is is pretty much ingrained into television now because you know they do CSI in different countries, so it's not something that's like totally foreign to to you know anyone but you know people in the United States. So I was like, well, I, now that it's that much of a trope, I think. You know, we could do this for kids, and I think it might work out okay. So, 
Um, does anyone else have one that they want to run off with real quick? Well, I have a question about yours. Yes. Would there be music? Because Radigan has a pretty epic song in that movie. Hmm. Since they do a lot of music on the TV shows, I'm trying to think how would how would we do that? They're like autopsying the body, and they like bust out into a quick soft shoe routine. <laughs> a soft shoe during the autopsy. Yeah. So as to not disturb the bodies. See, I was thinking more so, you're saying music, I'm thinking more so um, you could get some of the, like, these these like younger kid bands or whatever and, and see if you can pull their music into it. This might actually be a decent music, uh, <laughs> a decent way to pull in uh, a Disney music franchise. <laughs> so, that might be a way to go. Poking I Organs did by not even think that. Leslie McKinney. There you go. I did not even <laughs> think about the music aspect of it. Nice. All right, so that's that's my that's my uh, uh, great mouse detective CSI mashup. So. I love it. All what, right, what, what, Lainey, do you want to go next? Oh, okay. No, I'm go sorry. Ahead, what si. were you saying, Sai? Well, I was gonna think like, what if you had like the Smurfs mixed with the Office, and the uh, <laughs> you had all the different Smurf characters. Right. And, and they, um, I'm gonna let the Disney to me rear its ugly head. Smurfs is not part of. Of uh, Disney. But, yeah. Uh, we're only but, doing Disney. But I like where your head's at. We're only doing Disney then. Okay. If we were only going to do Disney, yes. Yeah, I have no ideas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I know Lainey Killing. put together one. I put together one. All right. Well, Lainey, Lainey's going to go next, and then we, we can hit yours, Rudy. Sure. All right. I'm a little concerned about mine. Okay. Because I don't think anyone has seen this movie. Okay. Um, but I'm going to go anyway. So, my thought, I, I'm all about um, some of the badass new princesses that Disney and Pixar have, have come out with in the last 10 years. Um, I really like the turn that they're making. So my thought was, instead of doing like one particular movie, maybe do kind of an ensemble kind of a thing where you take a bunch of the princesses. And I wanted to incorporate them into a television kids version of the movie Whip It, which is all about roller derby girls in Austin, and it's awesome. Oh, hell yes. Right? That sounds awesome. <laughs> So, um, by the way, if you haven't seen this movie, it's like a little indie film. Ellen Page is in it. Um, Drew Barrymore like helped produce it and like direct. She's it, it's she's super involved in it. It's really really good. It's hilarious too, like a little like black comedy. It's it's awesome. Um, but the main character who is um, her name is Bliss Cavender, but her derby name is Babe Ruthless would be pay, uh, played by Rapunzel. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then all of like the her like derby friends who have like derby names like Bloody Holly and Maggie Mayhem and Rosa Sparks and Eva Destruction, right? They would be played by like Meg from Hercules and um, Anna from Frozen and like Tiana from The Princess and the Frog, and so she's got like all these like badass like derby bitches hanging out with her all the time. And, like, maybe they fight crime. Maybe that's, like, a thing. Of course, because like, they could do that on their spare time, yes. Exactly, between roller derby matches that they totally win because they're awesome. But one of the really good um, characters in the movie is, his name's Razor. <laughs> He's their coach. He always wears jean shorts mm -hmm. and, like, a okay. 70s headband. It's amazing. It's a great movie. Okay. <laughs> but I want him to be played by the um, the satyr, the half-man, half-goat from Hercules. His name is Phil. Okay. <laughs> So, but yeah, and I was thinking like, well then a like her like arch nemesis at school or whatever could be played by the evil stepsisters from Cinderella, like. Oh my God! Yeah, I didn't even yeah, think Anastasia about that. and Drizella. Those are their names, by the way. I didn't even have to look that up. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, and like, um, her like arch nemesis on like the derby rink could be played by either. Okay, here was my thought. She could either be played by like a younger version of Maleficent. Mm -hmm. Or Vanessa, who is the woman that Ursula turns herself into in The Little Mermaid. I didn't have to look that up either. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, uh, Lainey nice. is a Disney nerd. If yes. You know that, so. This is like this is like right up my alley. I, like I seriously, when I first was coming up with show topics, and I thought of this episode, I thought, you know who would be good for this show? 
that's a that's the the first show I initially had. This is the first show I initially had planned for Lainey to definitely be on. So yeah, uh, and you can obviously see why. It's my stilo. Uh, Lainey, okay. you could have probably saved me a lot of Google searching for my characters because I had oh, to search sure. Google like mad to come up with names. Oh, no. <laughs> um. Real quick, before we move on, number one, I like this idea. This is awesome. Um, I wish, man, I wish uh, Chris was on because I don't know if you know this or not. She actually was doing roller derby for a while. See, I knew I loved her for a reason. Yeah, Chris was doing roller derby, derby for a while. I don't, you know what? I feel like I she just was want doing to worship that, at her feet. She, we were doing that. Uh, she was doing that right, like as we kind of, you know, put the the previous site into hiatus. Uh, I don't know how that ever turned out. I guess next time we talk to her, we need to ask her. So. Um, I want to know. I want to know about the fishnet bruises. That would be awesome. And like yeah, illegal to, hits. Yeah, we need to have a talk with uh, with uh, Chris about that. I think that would be an interesting talk. So for sure. Um, no, that totally did not even think about anything like that. That's cool. So, Rudy, you said you had one. Yeah. Um, I, I went back to a show that I remember watching as a kid, and I even had to go back and do a, a search for, for the names of some of the characters. I remember all their faces. I remember how they acted, and it was like so many distinct characters. So I was kind of thinking this may be like a right-up size alley. Do you all remember MASH? Yes. MASH. Yes. Okay. Yes, MASH. the show MASH. Yes, with characters from all across the, the, the Disney universe. I'm thinking Hawkeye yes, Pierce. Like Lainey did. Yes, Hawkeye Pierce would be played by Genie from Aladdin. Yes. 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 His Got loyal it. counterpart, B.J. Honeycutt, Timon mm -hmm. from Lion King. Oh I think God. they would be great because they're two kind of kind of jovial, and I can imagine both of them, you know, doing surgery. That'd be awesome. Um, oh my God, Genie. Okay. I'm trying to imagine. Okay, now number one. Okay, real quick before you go any further. So, I mean, Mash was based during the Vietnam War. Um, where is this going to be set? Korean, the, Korean, Korean War. Like? Korean War. <laughs> Korean War. My apologies. <laughs> Holy my shit! Apologies. It was the Korean War. That's true. Holy crap! My apologies. No, that's really hard. I, I don't even know who are you. Like really? Screw you. Go Vietnam. <laughs> Okay, going back, going back. Uh, seriously, going back think they could have got away. You think they could have got away with doing a, <laughs> like that show came out in the seventies, right? You really think they could have got away with doing a show about Vietnam during Vietnam? <laughs> no, I I said the wrong thing, motherfucker. <laughs> you certainly did. Okay, I need everybody to come. Really, back. this is the one input you <laughs> have on there. Yeah, this is to criticize me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm jumping. I'm this is my moment. <laughs> yes, exactly. See, I never watched MASH, but I did watch Roller Derby back in the day, so Oh, oh yeah, man. you did. Uh, here we go. Okay. My next character. Alright, so anyway, you're you no know, what where is this taking place? Is it taking place during Hold the on. war? I know where it's not taking place. Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it on your headphones. We're, we're, we're gonna come. Side. We're gonna come back to that. Okay, we'll come back to that. Okay. 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 Which means he hasn't figured it out yet. <laughs> Clinger. Well, no, I mean, I just kind of assumed it would be during the friggin' Korean War, just some amazing. It's gonna you know, take some place during war. the Battle of the Death Star. Yep. Duh. It's Disney. That could be. That could be. Yeah, it could be actually be Clone Wars. Clone Wars would be a lot more. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Clinger, actually, no, no, keep going with that. That works. Klinger would be played by Ichabod Crane from The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Yes. Oh my God, that is an awesome pull. Yes. Okay. That's um, one of the best shorts ever now, made, by the way. Margaret Houlihan. Okay, you know the lead female character who had who had some attitude to her, but in her younger yeah, days was cool. quite was quite hot. Um. Would have to be played by the Peter Pan version of Tinkerbell. Now, I have a daughter, so I can tell you. So you mean Tinker real Tinkerbell? Yeah, exactly. The new Tinkerbell stuff, she's all sweet and nice and kind. No, 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 no. If you go back and watch the old original Peter Pan, she was a fiery little shit. She was mean. Yeah, she was. Yes, she was. She tried to kill Wendy on multiple occasions. Yes, she did. So, she, I think that was her. Have the boss to shoot her down. Not, having, not having a daughter and not having boys who've really been into that, I, I don't I don't realize that. That's interesting. Yep. Yes, yes. Tinkerbell, so the, Tinkerbell didn't talk, though, right? Like, no. She, just, 
She she no, didn't she talk. She spoke, but she spoke in pixie language. That would be, exactly. That would that exactly. actually be good. That'd be a good com- comedic bit. Like, mm-hmm. oh, here comes Hot Lips, and you know, mm-hmm. just just <laughs> mad and yeah. Makes okay. a ding, ding, ding noise. You're, you're gonna love the next one, okay? The next one, okay? Charles Winchester, which was you know the the very um very appropriate um. You know, he just always kind of stuck up, and he was the one that they were always just I mean, they were they were always after, and they were pissing him off all the time. That that has to be Woody from from Toy Story. Has to be. That would be good. Or you could have him be Sam Eagle from the Muppets. That's not Sorry, a bad that idea. That's not a bad idea. Either. Okay, that's actually uh, better. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that better, actually. I, yeah. I do. I do. Father, father. Lady's like, here, let me correct that for you. Hey, you know you want to Sorry, go to, you're you wrong. Go to and the, let me tell you why. To the living <laughs> Disney dictionary. Hey, just get after it. I really okay. am. It's the only thing I'm good at. Father Mulcahy, you remember? Father Mulcahy. Yep. The, mm-hmm. the, the, yes. I, I I had to go with 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 Friar Tuck from Robin Hood. Yes. Oh my absolutely. God. Dude, yes. Awesome. Rudy, I am really impressed am with too. your poll. Like this is good. Like I'm kind of nervous about I mine know. now. This is good. No. Okay. Colonel <laughs> Colonel Potter. This is the one I had difficulty with. I, I defaulted to Scrooge McDuck, but I'm thinking the dictionary may have a better idea. <laughs> oh shit. Any better pull than that? Scrooge. I mean, because I thought Scrooge McDuck would be okay, but. He would be, especially if he took like the Ducktales version. I was gonna say, yes. yeah, he's a little yeah. Bit, yeah, exactly. If he exactly. took it from the Ducktales version, for sure. Well, and then, then my final, my final or major like character. Or like Statler or Waldorf. Oh, there you go. The, the final major character, Radar O'Reilly, would have mm-hmm. to be Mole from The Wind in the Willows. Oh, I yeah. love that movie. He almost looks identical to him. Anyhow. He so really does. there's the cast of characters. Now, as far as the war it was taking place, um, I don't. Yeah, you know, I mean, that, that could be up to to a lot of things. I mean, you could it could really just be an imaginary war if you're, you know, for if you're talking about keeping it kid friendly. I don't, you know, I don't know if you necessarily want to go completely down that route. Although, you know, the whole series of Mash was, I mean, it was a hilarious series, even though it was based on, you know. A real war, and you know, it talked about some uh, horrific events and things like that. Me. Yeah, but anyhow, so yeah, but uh, yeah, that's my uh, that's my uh, that's my bit. Well, good job, Rudy. That's Rudy, really Rudy, good. Well you know, done. I, I think we all really need to celebrate this moment because this is one of the few moments where we're all we all have a very positive feeling about Rudy. Like, Cy, I, I think I think what completes the puzzle. Everybody's Cy, got warm fuzzies for Rudy. Is that Sai actually has a warm and fuzzy for me? I know. Because Sai never has a warm and fuzzy for me. Sai, I can actually I can actually quote Sai on Facebook. Sai is my hater. He is. <laughs> if you all didn't oh, catch that God. that stream, he says he's my hater. You know, I'll tell you what though. You want to know something? Here, there's a secret though. At, at, at your funeral, I'll be the only one crying. Because he doesn't have anyone to pick on anymore. You know, <laughs> he he just completely came in from the side on that one. That was that was the ah, anyhow. I love you, like I side. love you, man. Side, I can't <laughs> wait. I can't wait to bring the new party favor to guys weekend. No, oh, I'm telling you right now. If you show he up to my said door that, with and anything, I swear to God, I thought Big I'm Black Dildo. The door. Yeah, that's what I was like. <laughs> first thing I thought. That's exactly what I was, I was like. Does this thing take batteries? <laughs> it is a Big Black Dildo. Oh, I can God. guarantee it. <laughs> like in Tabasco. Guys, guys, you gotta try this. You gotta try this. <laughs> Call it. <laughs> <laughs> this, this from people who have tried everything I have brought. No more. No they're, not, they're not partaking in that big black dildo. <laughs> well, you know what, Rudy? Uh, no, never mind. Me just say. Um, Lewis, did you, did you have one you'd like to throw out, or uh, the beginning uh, of one? The beginning of one. Okay. Okay. And I'll, I'll, pose it as, I'll, po- I'll pose it as in a question, like like you do at the beginning. By the way, okay. Rudy would be Donald Duck. I'm just. Saying. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I don't know if Rudy's angry enough to be Donald. No, no, I don't know. Oh, yeah, he is. Yes, he is. Really not. Really not. No. I'm sorry, Lou. I, I'm, uh, no, no, no. I apologize. Sorry. My bad. So we're going to cast the, the crew of the A-team. Oh, oh nice. my but, uh, God. 
again, I, I didn't have time to think it through, so luckily we have the, the walking dictionary here. The walking dictionary. <laughs> Tonight on AMC. Okay, so... All right, so who, let's we'll start off with uh, we'll start off with Hannibal. Who who's Hannibal? We need a good no, strong I was gonna, leader. I was gonna go off easy and just say Mickey, but we we I think we can do no, because that's the thing is like yeah he's the leader of the pack that's or the club that's made for you and me, but he's not. Wow. We need a <laughs> Hannibal. No, I I'll start with it with a, the the casting of face. I think okay. it's uh, Fix It Felix. Oh. <gasps> Fix it, Felix. I like that. Oh my god, I completely forgot. Yes, technically that would be within the realm of Disney, so good job. Yes! I don't know. Who I love that. that. You never saw Wreck-It Ralph? Wreck Ralph? No, I never saw Wreck-It Ralph. Just because you're bad what? Man, doesn't mean you're Wreck bad guy. No, I made my friend watch that, and he is so not into Disney movies, and he loved it. Wreck-It Ralph's pretty good. He's really good. Yeah. Got a lot of good video game characters in there. All right, so you got you got face. Um, do you want to go to Hannibal, or do we want to go? Who who's our Murdoch. Mr. T? Who's our who's I the said Wreck It Ralph. Okay. Technically, that fits. <laughs> I, mean, I was just what? saying. Right, said Wreck It Ralph. <laughs> I'm trying to think of who else is <laughs> in that, <laughs> that genre. Well, I mean, I, the, what very few. Episodes of the A Team I have seen. This is what I'm going with. I'm trying to think. Yeah, so am I. I'm just. Okay, what about um, Murdoch, the crazy pilot? I'm thinking um, from Tailspin, the uh, the goofy, the goofy, the big goofy one. Baloo. No, he's talking about. Uh... No, the 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 the. The, the one with the big, the big, the big, big chin. What's his name? Oh, what's that guy's name? Come on, oh, dictionary. Oh, it's so stupid. Beginning I'm, search I'm, on the internet. <laughs> but you know who I'm talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. No, I know exactly who you're talking about, and it's some weird. Ugh. You got the little pilot's hat and. Very the, yes, exactly. Very obscure name, but. He's got a big. Uh, he's like a. Um, uh, he's like a pelican. Pelican, right? Yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, we're still checking. Okay, so um, I have to find this. Let's see here. Okay, so all right, so we may have him stenciled in there. What about for Hannibal? I know this is gonna sound kind of weird, but what about uh, yeah. Buzz Lightyear? Like. Uh, Actually, that's, or Mr. Oh, that's a or really Mr. good idea. Or Mr. Incredible. Especially Buzz, like while he still thinks he's. Um, yes, when you when he still thinks he's command. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Kid, okay. Sure. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear. Sai, si, we need oh, like we need that. we need a snap impersonation right now. Buzz Lightyear saying, "I love it when a plan comes together." Go. I'm not doing that. Come on. <laughs> Cy, you do some most ridiculous impersonations. You can't try that one? Just try I, it. I don't, I, I, no, dude. I, I'm not your monkey. I do not, <laughs> I do not dance when when, uh, when Rudy needs it. <laughs> would although, somebody else although, ask although, him to do this? Although, he would do it for somebody else. Come on now. Somebody else ask him. Although in real life, if Rudy did ever ask me to dance, I would. And, it, and I would need $20. <laughs> Huh. No. I don't. Damn it. What was his name? It was on Tailspin? It wasn't on Rescue Rangers, was it? You I know think it's Rescue Rangers. You know it was on Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers? Yeah, maybe it was. You know what's so wrong? Is like, no, but we, I feel like it was Tailspin. <laughs> when you do a search for Disney characters, so much like animated porno comes up. Oh, no. I know. I know. <laughs> You don't have your safe search turned on? I guess not. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. Hmm. Who needs safe search? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I don't do anything I don't safe. I'm, my danger is my middle name. Oh, God. 
Okay. Well, we may have to table this and come back because I cannot, I can't find it. But we, we, we know who we're talking about. We'll have to, we'll have to figure out who it is. So, okay. Once again, one more time. So we've got. Dude, all you got to do is look up the characters uh, from I'm Darkwing. Trying Duck. to look it up. That's the thing. Because he's in Darkwing Duck. Oh, y'all are talking about Louis Lamore? No, y'all are talking about uh, Launchpad. Yes. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Yes. I was gonna say <laughs> he wasn't in Tailspin. He was in. in no, he, he was in uh, Darkwing no, Duck. No, no, no. But in, there's a guy. He looks he like a pelican in, or like a rooster, and he's in Tailspin. No, he was okay. in Tailspin first. He was in Tailspin before he was on Darkwing Duck. No, he was on. DuckTales before he was on Darkwing Duck. And he was on Tailspin also. No, I don't remember him being on Tailspin. I don't remember. It makes my brain hurt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. so I think we've I think we've kind of got that one nailed down. Um, I still don't remember the one specifically, but... Alright, so... Um, Cyrus, any thoughts? About what? About... <laughs> <laughs> show. Oh, about an idea, yeah. or or are you just gonna you just gonna help out with with uh with the creation stage? I, I'm I I'm I don't I don't know, man. Like I think Darkwing Duck, since we we're talking about it, is one of the great examples of Disney doing this. You know, like uh, you know. Uh, well, now that you say that, I mean, you are kind of right. I mean, they, they took an existing character, which was Launchpad, and then I don't know why. I still don't understand why they took him as, like, the one carryover character and then basically created a Batman universe around him. Yeah. Batman mixed with, like, the shadow and... Yeah, you know. you de yeah definitely you have to figure that in, too. Yeah. What, what it was a good series, too. I mean, oh, I loved it. A while. You know, why so, don't they? It, it just seemed like that was an interesting time for Disney. They, they, they did. Uh, you know, they had some ideas. You know, that were like, uh, you know, I don't know. They, you don't see that kind of stuff anymore. And, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was nice to see them experiment like that and do these different shows where, you know, Rescue Rangers and. You know, DuckTales, Darkwing Duck, you know, all this different stuff. The, you know, they brought all that humor out, you know. Well, yeah, back when they did the actual good after-school cartoons. Yeah. That was just a good time. Well, I thought I uh, I went through and, and did a couple more, actually. Um, so the second one I threw together was... Um, I, I don't know how well this is going to fit, but it's... And, and you actually kind of hit on my original idea... Side and, and that is the office. Um, <laughs> but whereas you know you, you originally said Smurfs, which is still is actually an interesting idea. That's a really idea good idea. Me. Um, I went with Bambi. Um, oh my god! Dis, it is a Disney property. Of course, we're gonna have to kind of change up the character some. But you got Bambi. He's gonna be our Jim. Falene. Uh, uh, Falene would be Pam. Pam. I said Thumper would be Oscar. Um, not necessarily his best friend, but you know he's he gets along with Oscar most of the time. Flower would be Kevin, the big idiot. Aww. Um, Al would be Creed. <laughs> um, what's his name? Rano would be Dwight. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna. Uh, there's just a mole doesn't really have a name, but I thought we'd make him turn to ma name him Mike. He could be our Michael. Um, uh, one of the possums would be to Toby, and then we can get um. um we can get one of the quails, and that would be Angela. So. You could branch out, too, and bring in other Disney woodland creatures. Oh, yeah. Like, um, Especially like how they did in the later seasons where they had other people coming in to be the boss. That was Yes. So, but I thought, I mean, once again, the, the office is, is kind of a staple. Everyone kind of knows that formula or whatever. That's something that would be pretty easy to adapt. I, I'll be honest with you. I was being very narrow, very narrow-minded and was thinking, okay, just one Disney property. I, it did not even cross my mind. Why don't I pull from multiple properties? So I was the opposite. No, I tried me... to stick with one uh -huh. and I couldn't. I just couldn't. I'm right there, Lanny. But uh, d doesn't <laughs> Disney own the Muppets? Now. Yes. yes. Now here's okay. the thing. But okay. they're doing that Muppet show right now, and it's horrible. I can't stand it. How dare you? It's really? hilarious. I haven't watched it. 
it, I like, like it. It's like they're doing The Office, basically. And I hate it. Yeah, they are. I hate it's it. It's a hundred percent exactly what they're doing, and they know that that's what they're doing, and that's why I like it. It is not funny. It's like they're being I serious. I like it, but it's I like, feel like no. I came. They did something with the Muppet Show in like the late '90s, early 2000s that I remember, and I even thought that was funny. Basically, they can do anything with the Muppets, and I'm gonna watch it. So. I'm too invested in the original Muppet Show, which I was expecting like a little fresh take of. No, they totally, <laughs> they totally <laughs> ruined it. I hate this show, this new show. No, I can't stand it. Is, is would that type of show still work today? Is no, that the problem. It probably wouldn't, and this mm-hmm. one sure, sure as hell doesn't either. How dare you? How dare you? Wow. I can't say how. Um, show. Shut up, Lou. Strong feelings. I, okay. I, well, going back to my original idea of of. Of the office, because I mean, you know, Cy brought it up as well, so obviously it's something that we think it could be used. Uh, going back instead of just sticking to one property, what if we were to cast it with multiple properties? So, um, any thoughts? Uh, our main character, Jim, needs to be likable, lovable guy. Um, that's just kind of like, really? I'm here? How am I, how am I still in this? I'm going to be for Jim. I do have a really good one for Michael and Kevin. Okay. Okay. Um, there is a movie. It is now banned in the United States, but there's a very successful ride at both or most Disney properties that it's based off of. Um, the movie Song of the South. The ride is Splash Mountain. Whoa, that that is actually based off of that movie? Uh-huh. I did not know that. Yeah, in the 80s. It's a, there's a really, really long story behind why, and maybe one day we'll get into that. But um, Br'er Rabbit uh-huh. would be a really good Michael, and okay. Br'er Bear would be the perfect Kevin <laughs> because he's big and dumb <laughs> and just lumbers around. The question is, could would... Would anyone stand to see that come back? No, absolutely not. Well, here's the thing, though, huh. is like with all the like the whole reason, all, with all the reasoning that they have behind banning the movie in the United States, like the characters are still very much in the parks. Mm-hmm. They're you know they have a ride. It's a very very popular ride. It just doesn't have any of the stuff in it that got it banned basically. Mm-hmm. So you could technically use those characters. Like they're still a huge part of like the Disney universe, but you just so wouldn't have like if I understand this correctly. You're advocating bringing back Song of the South. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm advocating utilizing Splash Mountain characters. You seem to know this the characters from this really well too. That's Yes. How many this times have you seen someone She No, she worked at a Disney park, dude. Yep. Oh, no. no I was a cast no. member. She has worked for the mouse. Yes. Really? Okay. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Okay, She's, so... You, you missed the pre-show. She's under a gag order from the mouse, guys. <laughs> Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, Sigh, enough about your personal life. Move along. Lady and gentlemen, um... Let me just remind you of what all the mouse owns. The, the mouse owns um, everything. everything. So that means technically we could pull from Marvel. We could pull from uh, Star Wars. That was my other thought. So what if we did The Office in the style of Marvel? Can Luke Skywalker? Oh, sorry, oh, you said Marvel. I got an Can idea. Luke Skywalker be Toby? What if What if you do? What if you just go crazy like? Characters from the movie The Black Hole. <laughs> you could. <laughs> like, God. And do what with them? Oh, the office. Of... <laughs> oh, like, the office. Oh my God! So basically, just redo all the characters from The Black Hole and do it as The Office. Like yeah. it's just like, oh my God, that's genius! I love that idea. <laughs> what was the name of the evil robot? Maximilian. Yeah. Maximilian, that's right. Wait, wait, Lainey didn't know that? Oh. <laughs> no, she said, but I don't know. <laughs> oh, by the sorry, way, I she, saw a sorry, she has not memorized yeah. the technically horrible movie from the, <laughs> what was it, the 70s? That I'm came sorry, was it pre Eisner? Then I don't know. Oh. Well, no, you know, I saw a poster. They're going to redo. Pre uh, Eisner is a gray area for me. They're going to redo 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, a reboot. Don't talk to me about that. I'm not excited. <laughs> no, 
don't. Okay. Live it. All right. That was quick. All right. Uh, some t- some people oh, have their you know some people have their issues that t- touch them off you know and that's one of them. <laughs> Yeah. I love the original. It's so good. Rudy, did you have? I've actually got a third one. I, like I said, I liked this idea. Um, does anyone have another one they want to throw out there? I had one that I didn't totally get fleshed out all the way. All right, we'll throw it out there. What you got? Okay, so <laughs> about I a nickel have... favorite. No, I don't <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, Marion. <laughs> oh God. So I was thinking, um, like a. Obviously, kid-friendly version of like a TV series of Jurassic Park, which technically is sacrilegious because we don't own that. But still, um, but yeah. So Jurassic Park, they could even like tie it into the dinosaur property that they do own, which is their the movie characters dinosaur. just have to be Disney. The movie doesn't exactly. Have to be. So okay, well, so that works. When I said Jurassic Park, my Disney brain was like, "How dare you?" Okay. <laughs> so Dr. Grant would be Milo Thatch from Atlantis. Okay. And then um, uh, Ellie Sattler, Dr. Ellie Sattler, would be Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. Okay. Uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm would be um, Flynn Rider from Rapunzel. Oh, yes. Yeah. That would be awesome, actually. <laughs> I, you know, I saw that. I um, No, what, it's not called Rapunzel. What's it called? It's called Tangled. Tangled. I saw that and I was like, "Wow, this is like it's the, really good." I was like, "This is like the first really good Disney animated movie they've had in a while." Like, it was super, actually, Princess and the Frog was really, really good. It's just they did it well. They did a terrible job of marketing it, so no one saw it. But it is really, really beautifully animated, and has some of the best music that Disney's had since Alan Menken. So it was. Really, you said really Flynn, fun. and I was thinking of Tron. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Flynn Rider, whose real name is Eugene Fitzherbert. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was funny. Um, but then, see, I got sidetracked because again, I went into the parks with characters, mm-hmm. and okay, um, little backstory. I worked part of my job while I worked for the mouse was working in Dino Land, which Mad loved Animal Kingdom. It's the best place to work. But um, I wanted to take characters from the dinosaur attraction in Dino Land at Animal Kingdom, which is amazing. And put them into um, the the show. So like Doctor Seeker, who is this ridiculous idiot scientist, or I'm sorry, one heck of a paleontologist. He wants to uh, send all these. In the premise of the ride is he wants to send you back to the late Cretaceous period to try to save a dinosaur. Mm-hmm. Um, but Doctor Marsh, who owns the institute, is trying to talk you out of it. Who is played by Felicia Rashad, by the way? So that's always cool. Oh, but sweet. yeah. So Felicia Rashad would be uh, John Hammond. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and then uh, Dr. Seeker would be Henry Wu. Oh, okay, I got mm-hmm. you. I got you. Yeah, that was my thought. Which, yeah, if you've never, if you haven't ever been and you don't know anything about the property, definitely, like, you could YouTube Dinosaur the Attraction. It's, like, the greatest attraction ever. You should totally Who would be the it. lawyer? See, that was one I couldn't quite figure out. It would have to be somebody kind of... It could be Mortimer Mouse. That would be pretty good. I think, I'm trying to figure out who's going to be... Um, uh, Tim and Lex? I couldn't no, figure that out either. Uh, the, uh, uh, um, Chip and Dale. Hacker. <laughs> oh, Newman? Damn Newman. it. Oh, <laughs> Newman. Oh. oh, shit. Um... He'd have to be like a henchman, someone's you'd, henchman. You'd have to, but see, you, that's where you can pull in from Tron. You got to get the oh the God. main the main bad guy from Tron. I forgot Stop his name. Stop trying to make Tron happen, Lou. Uh, it's Tron not going is going to happen. happen. <laughs> Tron, this is a Tron Valley. When you say hacker. <laughs> oh shit! Um, he could be one of the uh, Maleficent's henchmen. She had that big pig-looking one. Oh God, who else? I'm trying to think of like good slimy characters. Yeah, I was gonna say definitely needs to be someone kind of. My friends are gonna be listening to this. Oh and be like, no, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be the uh, the 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 bad guy from uh, Incredibles. He was a little kid at first. Oh, that's, that's right. That's Newman. Oh my God, what was his name? I'm that's trying to remember. Captain Extremo. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, um. Isn't it killing you now? Yes, it is. Um, it, it said it was like Electro Boy, but it wasn't that. And then it, oh shit! You're not affiliated with me. Yeah, you're not affiliated. I love that movie. 
Uh, oh, damn it. Hold on. Uh, I can't remember his name. I should know this. I just watched you this really with my boys like, like a week or so ago. Hold on. Hold on. Syndrome. That's right, Syndrome, yes. Damn. <laughs> God, that was like holding in a sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Her brain was about to explode. <laughs> it was going to be horrible. I was going to have this mess to clean yeah, up. For real. <laughs> oh, my God. I like that. That's, that's that would be not pretty bad. good. That's not that would be pretty no, good. No, here's the next one. Who's going to be Muldoon? Oh, shit. Oh, man, yes. Yeah, so you have to have a hunter. Now, Muldoon was an all right guy. Oh. But I'm thinking, I'm what's, thinking, uh, what is the name? What's the name of the hunter from The Rescuers Down Under? He's like based off a of crocodile Dundee. Perfect. Cause so it's yeah. Sorry, that was the first person that popped into my head. Rescuers, but down under. Not just the rescuers. Right. Just trying to see if it was automatically going to populate. It won't. No one saw that movie. <laughs> Obviously, remember, you did. I did except me. No, I saw it, but I don't remember it. <laughs> well, y'all saw it because that came out like late 80s, I think. It was right before the Disney Renaissance. Hmm. What is his name? Right, Not horrible. Jake. No. No. The show's so awesome. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're not helping. No, I don't help. I don't know if you've ever listened to our other I show. But, okay. But yeah, he. Oh God, I forget what his name is. But he would be perfect. See, I was thinking the, uh, the 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 Bane bad guy in um, you, like I said, you'd have to twist him a little bit so he wouldn't be evil. But the main bad guy in um, um, Beauty and the Beast, Gaston. Gaston. Just oh, he's... no one subjugates women like Gaston. <laughs> but that was one of the few characters at Disney that I like couldn't go meet. I couldn't look him in the eye. I couldn't do it. I was like, I'm just gonna laugh. I can't handle this. this is too much. I was like. Two yards away from him, I was like, nope, and I walked away. Wow. Couldn't do it. <laughs> Can Goofy be Mr. I do. DNA? I love meeting characters. It's so fun. Goofy's going to play Mr. DNA. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> that would actually be pretty good. <laughs> that would be so good. Oh, and you could have, like, Huey, Dewey, and Louie be Tim and Lex and just make it three instead of just two. <laughs> What if, like, Pete's dragon was, like, the T-Rex or something? No, oh, perfect. Elliot? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> wow, you're totally twisting around, though, dude. Like, Oh, my God, but I love that. Like, it's not a she, know, but still. But he's, he ends up being the hero at the end. The Elliot, yeah, the that'd hero. be perfect. I oh cannot God, wait I love that. for that remake. I, I love want to dragon. see this. <laughs> I want to watch the show. It sounds so good. I do too. Like, <laughs> I, yeah, I want to see what this remake's gonna be like. So. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm excited for the Jungle Book also. Again. I I'm I'm gonna be honest. Is they took two of my favorite properties, and I don't. I'm weird about when Disney does live action because they usually mess it up and change it too much. But hopefully this will be good because they've already done a live action Jungle Book. Yeah, they butchered Star Wars. <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> you go back to your hole, sir. All right. Well, I threw together another one, and uh, this was a this is one of the first properties I thought of, but I couldn't figure out exactly what I was going to do with it. Um, and it's kind of along the lines of your A team suggestion, uh, <laughs> Lou. Um, do y'all remember the Brave Little Toaster? Yes. The Brave Little Toaster was horrifying as yes, a kid it was. because it's like. Like, like just the idea, Blanky. like that you Ooh. could actually get, like they were going to kill off these little characters that you, you know, that were cute and sweet and everything. Useful yeah. household items. Um. So yeah, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to take the brave little toaster and do something with it. My first thought was, how could I incorporate it and turn it into something like, um, uh, either um, uh, uh Terminator Two or The Matrix. <laughs> oh I was my like, god. Yeah, use the technology point, but I was like, I don't, I don't know how I can quite do that. And I was like, okay, well, what was the main focus of of the the Brave Little Toaster? And it was the fact that, you know, they weren't useful anymore, and they were being, you know, kind of replaced by more modern appliances or whatever. Um, so I thought maybe we would turn it into the movie Red, <laughs> retired and extremely dangerous. So. Um, <laughs> 
you've got you've got the toaster. Uh, he's gonna be he's gonna be our Frank character. He's gonna be our leader. <laughs> um, you got the blankie. That's gonna be Sarah. That's his love interest. Um, radio. Uh, that was Morgan Freeman's character. You know, radio I, used I was to like, scare the shit out of me. I was like, you know, if, if you're gonna have a deep, you know, you have an awesome voice. Let's put him in a radio. Um, Lampy's gonna play Marvin. You know, uh, John Malkovich's character. You know, the crazy. Well, the crazy. Um, and then Kirby the Vacuum. Uh, we're going to do a little gender swap on it, and she's gonna. that's going to be Victoria, Helen Mirren's character. So um, I thought that might be in it. And then what they could do is, is for this ongoing TV series, they could go around and they could be helping these other... Uh, you know, they can help these other appliances or whatever that are, you know, they're out of date or whatever, and, and this, that, and the other. And, you know, they're the whole premise of the show would be to teach kids that just because it's old doesn't mean it's not useful or Aww. helpful or whatever. So you know, hook up with a tape deck. There you go. I like yeah, it. Yeah, they can go. They can go see the CD player and yeah. the VCR and, and help them out. So, which so. you know kind of goes into your your A team theory a little bit there. Betamax is on its last leg. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> By, the, By way, the way, is anybody else just now realizing how unoriginal those names were for those characters? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I was like, what was the name of the toaster? Oh, Toast. Toasty. Um, <laughs> what was the name of the blanket? Blanky. <laughs> yeah, Kirby was the only one that was even that's, slightly that's pretty clever. imaginative was, because it was a vacuum cleaner. So. They made a sequel of that, and they went to Mars, and it was weird, but I remember watching it a lot. What? Yeah. Did not know that. My childhood was odd. That. Um. Yeah, wow. that's. Oh, there's so, an old calculator who, in it. Yeah, who the hell comes up with that idea? Let's take this old movie and send it to Mars. Oh that's no, what we do. I'm pretty much convinced that a lot of because okay, when they make sequels of Disney movies, it's not even done by the same studio. Oh, that's it's a different studio. So whenever you see like The Little Mermaid two, Cinderella two, it's not even a Walt Disney picture. Really? It's, it's a studio that's owned by Disney, but it's not even worked on by the same people. Oh, that's... Well, no wonder uh, uh, Pixar was like... Because I, I remember Pixar was scared to death that they were going to lose uh, like the Toy Story characters because they're yep. like this is they're going to they're going to kill our children is literally what they told Disney. I remember hearing that in the quote. Pretty much. Um. Yeah. There's also a really good documentary about a lot of that. By the way, if anybody's interested. Yeah, I've seen it. That's really, you're right. Waking Sleeping it. Beauty. And yes. then There's another if, Toy Story one too. If you have not seen Waking Sleeping Beauty, oh my god, it's, it's so wonderful. Good. Um, can, I, can I just say that all this Disney stuff, I, I really it. it I mean, it's cool and all that we're doing this, but man, y'all are really kind of creepy with your. Uh, <laughs> oh god! <laughs> you're like inside baseball on this. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't. I don't know how to relate. Oh, I am the oracle. I, yeah. <laughs> well, to to kind of wrap up, um, Sai, you you gave me an idea a little bit earlier. You said something. I don't remember exactly what it was early on in the show, and I, I just got hit with a, a brilliant idea. Um, should we take a moment and see if we can figure out who in the Disney universe? Now we have to include expanded universe, so you can anything's open. Um, you know, you can use classic film, you can use live action, you can use Marvel uh, Muppets, whatever. And should we figure out who would play who in our little podcast? Okay. So let's start with Rudy. Yeah, Rudy. Because unfortunately, Rudy had to drop off. Rudy so left, so can't. Rudy doesn't get to play. Yeah, Rudy unfortunately, Rudy won't be able to, to chime in. So who do we think the Disney universe, <laughs> 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 who do we think the Disney universe would be a good Rudy? Um, hmm. You've already met. That's what it was. You mentioned that you said Donald Duck would be would Rudy would be a good Donald Duck. Um, you know that's actually not bad because um, and, and, I don't know if he's angry enough all the time, but. Um, uh, I can see Rudy jumping up and down on one one leg, swinging his arm, going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'm almost afraid to ask uh, who you would see playing me, because I immediately I immediately thought the first thing that jumped in my head was you were going to pull out one of the two robots from <laughs> uh, the black hole. That's a, that's what I thought you were immediately going to say, Cyrus. <laughs> No, I think I would pick uh, Chip from Rescue Rangers. That's not bad. Really? That's I'm not bad at all. 
Yeah, he's got the he's got the leadership quality, but he's also yeah. a stick in the mud. Yeah. Oh, there you, and there it is. Oh, I was saying I was gonna say Mickey for the same reason. Because I'm a do-gooder. I, you know what? I I accept it. I know what I am. I know who I am. I accept it. I, you know what? I will take that 100. percent All right. So that we got. I think we got Rudy and we got me. Um. What about Jay? Let's let's do let's work on Jay. I feel like I know Jay. Well. <laughs> Tasmanian Devil, but that's <laughs> wrong. Yeah. Wrong character. Wrong but area. I think. Um, <laughs> no, you know what? I, you know who I kind of see Jay as. I see parts of Jay. I was gonna say Eeyore. Aww, is he wow. as cute as Eeyore though? No, I was there just gonna is. say because he's like, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> How was your day? Was oh, wow. cute. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Is it is it Eeyore? Or am I am I just pulling? Is that uh, is that too simple? I hate to pick. I hate to pin him in, into something like that. That's. Uh, uh, Wow. He's not going to listen to the show anyway. No. Uh. <laughs> My immediate thought was actually Pumbaa from Lion King. You know what? That's a... <laughs> that could work. I could kind of see that. That's funny. <laughs> I could kind of see Pumbaa. See, I need a list of like everything so I can just like... Unfortunately, this wiki that I'm looking at You sound at like is... you're looking for good side characters. Gloomy side characters. Oh, what about no? And of course, it lists Pumbaa right there. Um, Eugene, I, I could also see you by the way. Is Cogsworth from Beauty and the Beast? The clock. Yes, because you do <laughs> like things in a certain way, but wow. you slide in with the one-liners. Yes. <laughs> so I'm the clock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he has some of the funniest moments. <laughs> In that whole movie. I'm going to have to go back and watch that. Yes. Now. I don't know if I should be offended or not. You've never heard that? <laughs> Flowers. Promises you don't intend to keep. <sighs> yeah, it kind of sounds like me. All if right, it ain't up, Baroque, don't fix it. Yeah. That's <laughs> the joke I would do. All right. Wow, so. You actually kind of hit it right there. That's yep, yeah. You're welcome. Damn. All right. Um. <laughs> Pumbaa is actually not bad. We'll 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 do we'll do Pumbaa first. Pumbaa's pretty upbeat too, so maybe he would appreciate that. Well, I mean, Jay can be like Jay. Jay's really funny. Like Jay has fucking brought out some stuff that's just like from left field and just cracked me my ass up. So is he secretly smart? Because then he is Pumbaa. I wouldn't yeah. say it's a secret. He, he no, got he, a, he got his Apple Plus certification. Yeah. I was gonna say he's. Oh, well, not, then there you go. He's he would make a great. Pumbaa. He yeah he's not. He's, there you go. Not a dummy. Pumbaa was the only means. one in that movie. He just to... he likes to play it off though. Well, there you go. Perfect. Okay, there you go. Boom. Good job. Great. Pumbaa. I Keep love it. There. All right, so um, let's let's see here. So we got we got me, we got Rudy, we got uh, we got. What about Lou? Yeah, who are we gonna pick? What about Lou? Lou? I'm scared. Lou, Lou, Lou. <laughs> hmm. Let me think. This could be interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. Does anyone else, while we're thinking about that, does anyone else like immediately jump out? Like, does anyone else you immediately think, oh, that's that's Chris or that's uh, that's that's Cyrus? Hmm. No, I don't think we can pick one for ourselves. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, I no, I don't think we can pick one for ourselves. No, that would be crazy. How I'm trying to think. Mm. I like the I, hmm. I think who did, we, who did we say for Rudy? Because I had another idea. Okay. What well, What are you thinking for Rudy? Tigger. Really? Why? Because he's just, uh, you know, annoying and always comes in with his little. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Always a pain in the ass, you know. But uh, he thinks pretty highly of himself too, so maybe. <laughs> wow. <that's laughs> awesome. Just coming for blood over here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, oh, I, don't shit. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm having a hard time with with uh with with coming up with the rest of the people. It's just. Damn. Hmm. We do Pixar do. too. Do what? What'd you say, Lou? I said they were too unique. Yeah, I guess so. Could Rudy be Mike Wazowski? <laughs> Maybe. 
Mike Wazowski. <laughs> I'm just thinking of Mike Wazowski and how when he gets mad, he just he like yells it's... and stomps his feet and kind of a stickler. That's that's <laughs> kind of not bad. <laughs> That's actually kind of not bad, actually. <laughs> oh, shit. Of course, when you say that, all I can hear is Boo saying it. Oh, Mike Wazowski. <laughs> oh, love it. Oh, I'm going That's pretty good. Hmm. Well, we may have to table this because... Can Cy si be Kronk from Emperor's New I, you know, I've only seen that movie once. It's been so long. I'm I haven't so even, sorry. It's such a good movie. I, 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 it's been forever since I've Love seen it. Love me some Kronk. All right. The <laughs> problem here's part of the problem. The part of the, part of the problem is is Disney owns everything. So it's like okay, well you can pull from Pixar. You can pull from you know you can pull from all the other stuff that we said. So it's just like it's crazy trying to find a list of Disney characters is just insane because it's like oh do you want Disney princesses? Do you want this? Do you want that? Because there's so many different categories. This is a true fact. Lou I think might be Frozen because he also has a lot of the smart remarks. Hmm. I'll take it. Yeah, you would because he's not stuck with the character. I'm stuck with the damn clock. Hey, Cogsworth is hilarious. Uh, another character, maybe a possibility for Eugene is uh, that bird from The Lion King. The what is it? Zazu. Bird? Zazu. Yeah, maybe that might be. His name is Zazu. Oh, he really is a stick in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> he spends a whole song telling Simba what to do. <laughs> <laughs> he, has his jokes. he has his jokes, you know. It yeah. kind of works. Yeah. So basically, I could. I, 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 I'm a. <laughs> You're I'm a clock, a and I'm Samuel Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> well. No. Well. No. Well, screw you guys. <laughs> <laughs> could be worse. Who well, Luke? you know what? Well, I guess we'll just have to figure out the rest of y'all later. Um, <laughs> that would be good. Y'all would kill him. Because we can't come up with anything. I like how we're like finding six for Eugene. I know, right? Like <laughs> everybody. Eugene <laughs> could do this. Eugene <laughs> could do that. I'm like, this, okay. this straight laced guy that likes to come in with smart ass well, so comments. So apparently I'm an archetype, is basically what I am. Yep. So, yeah, okay. Aw, Dumbo. I'm seeing lots of Disney characters on the screen right now. Yes. It's making me happy. So, just trying to figure out. All right. Well, anyway. So, I guess let's go ahead and move on to our um, uh, picks and pans for the week. Uh, does anyone in particular want to go first? I thought of another. No. All right. I thought, I, thought, I thought of another character for Rudy. Okay. Yes. Pinocchio. <laughs> oh, God. How dare you. He wants to be Scrooge a real McDuck. Boy. He wants to be a real boy. Is I that want to be a real I boy. Were, I thought you were going off the truck telling. He does part. have strings. To hold him down. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Jiminy. <laughs> oh my god. All righty. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here with my uh, my pick for the week. Um, my pick is uh, Christy and I. This show has been around. They've got three seasons of it. Um, it. We found it on Hulu. I've heard about it, and actually Ray had had, had mentioned it to me before. Um, Christy and I just found uh, Drunk History on Hulu. <laughs> uh, oh, Lainey's actually already seen it. Have either of you guys seen it? Oh yeah, I've watched a bunch of those. Oh my. Oh my God, that's so funny. Um, if you haven't seen it, basically they go to these different cities, they get these people extremely drunk to the point that they, some of them can't even sit in the chair, and uh, they tell a somewhat factual retelling of a uh, historical event, and the thing that makes it really funny is as they're telling this story, they have legitimate, like, professional, com you know, comedic actors that have to lip sync it, and that is when it gets Freaking hilarious! The episode <laughs> where they are telling the story about uh, Elvis, they've got uh, Jack Black playing Elvis, and it's Christy and I laughed out loud. I don't know how many times watching this show. It's kind of our new thing right now. We're uh, they're all three seasons are on uh, Hulu, and uh, we're probably gonna plow through them pretty quickly because it's just really fucking funny. So that's my pick for the week is uh, Drunk History. 
Cyrus, anything, a pick or a pan for the week? Well, my pick for the week is going to be Lainey, and that is because she has proven herself as bizarre and weird and knowledgeable <laughs> about the strangest shit. Uh, yes! Well. So she Finally! Put... <laughs> I am vindicated. <laughs> You're accepted. You, you have been one of us. One yeah. of you are now part of the tribe. <laughs> I, I cannot... <laughs> I know I've always said your pick or pan could be anything. I never thought we would pick another person. That's awesome. Good job, Cyrus. Thanks, Cy. By the way, Cy, I think I came up with your character. Oh, really? Like, I'm sticking with this. Okay. This is serious. Cy is going to be Timon from The Lion King. Hey, I'll take that. You know what? Actually, that's not bad. See? <laughs> that's not bad. When you think about his character, it makes total sense. I'm okay. telling you, this brain, man, it's good at one thing, and this is I do like the, now, the dress question up. is <laughs> I do like the, the dress question up is, is who is Lainey? Oh God. Ooh. Well, we don't know her well enough. We're gonna have to, it's gonna take a little time to I got some friends that could uh <laughs> chime in on that one. I'm we'll sure to, they could. Oh god. We'll have See, to I wonder what my wife I wonder who my wife would say. Your wife likes to tell me that I'm Sue Heck from the middle, so God only knows. Technically it's an ABC show. <laughs> it is an ABC <laughs> show. And I have to say that's actually very that's pretty damn good. I think my sweater that I'm wearing right now actually is very Sue Heck. See now if you if you include all the stuff on ABC, it's just it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, and technically they own AB, uh, 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 Disney even owns Maker Studios, so yes, almost do. all the stuff you see on YouTube that's really high quality, they own it too. So it's yep. like it's insane. Um, True fact. Yeah, Disney owns everything basically. All right, so uh, Lewis, your pick or pan for the week. I got two picks. All right. What's uh, that? One is if you're into anime, I just stumbled across Attack on Titan. Oh, I've heard a lot about I've it. Heard it's, of that. it's a, they totally are not cookie cutter. It's a, their own thing. It's a little bit of a slow burn, and they they just do barely enough to keep you interested. But it's a pretty good story. If it's on Netflix, but uh, it's in Japanese, so you hey. have to re- mm-hmm. read the subtitles. But hey. it's uh, it, it's pretty good. Hey, bar- barely enough to keep us interested is perfect for this show. <laughs> <laughs> And the other so pick tagline. is, again, I'm, I'm super late to this, and Eugene was uh, pushing this on us like crazy, but I finally got around to it. But Ready Player One is fantastic. I can't wait for the movie. Yes. And they just cast the uh, the lead ar- uh, actor, but I don't know who he is. <laughs> I don't either. I saw that. Um, I really, really, really – I mean, Steven Spielberg is producing, so I really hope they don't screw this up, but if – if you are a child of the 80s, you have got <laughs> to read Ready Player One. It is, um, well, not to give anything away, the the storyline is basically in this future dystopia. Everyone plays at, like these online games constantly. Like everyone lives in this online universe. But yeah, the they actually go to school it. in this. It's like Facebook yes, like, meets Second Life meets The Sims. <laughs> yes, exactly. And everything everything and everyone does is in this game, and the guy who creates it dies, leaves this massive, just monster like uh, fortune along with control of the game, and he he basically says, "I have no heirs." So the first person who figures out these three clues wins it, and everyone knows he's a huge fan of the '80s. So like the '80s culture comes back, and unless you are like Unless you know everything minutia of the 80s, there's no way you can unlock it, and this kid figures it out. And it's the story of how he goes through and does it, and it's it's, it's wonderful. And it's it not takes... just 80s video games. It's 80s music, 80s books, no, 80s yes. TV, oh, wow. 80s everything. He's everything. He's absolutely right. It's not just. It's not just. I mean, there are a lot of video game references, but the movie references, the the music references. It's just like it's awesome. It's so good. So yeah, absolutely. Awesome, it does have awesome, something awesome. going for it. The author wrote the first draft of the screenplay, so. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's promise. You know what he did for in the printed book, right? I know he did uh, do a uh, like a like a hidden uh, message. He did a hidden game within the printed book, and the person who figured it out and and found out how to unlock his secret online, he ended up giving them a DeLorean. Stop. Yes, oh, I like did not this know dude this. Is, yeah. Oh, my God. So, yeah, it's very, very cool. Lainey, do you have a pick or pan for the week? I do. I started a new book this week because I needed something else to read. Um, 
It's called it's uh, it's called the history of rock and roll in ten songs by uh, I hope I say his name right, Girl Marcus. Mm-hmm. It's really really good. I'm about halfway through, but the way that the book's structured is really really neat. It's literally divided up into like a foreword and then like the ten songs, and it's not like what you would think they would be, which is kind of nice. I feel like he's making some deeper cuts. Like he's, you can tell like the man knows his music. Mm-hmm. Um, just really, really interesting the way that he picks from like from the actual song and then like from films that may have used the song. Like in the in like in the foreword, he ta- starts talking about a Bob Dylan song and like how it was used in the last episode of The Sopranos. Like it's just really, really interesting. Really, really well written. Um, Pretty cool stuff. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm really glad that he can write about music in a way that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah. Awesome. Love it. It's pretty good. I actually just realized that I've got at least one Audible credit, I think two Audible credits sitting in my account, and I've got a third one coming up here pretty quick. I need to figure out some stuff to read. So I can make you some um, Joshua. Yeah, we may have to talk offline about that. <laughs> um, anyway, so uh, if you enjoyed the show or any of the other shows, please, please, please visit, visit us on iTunes or Stitcher. Give us a five-star review. Uh, There's a place to leave a review. Don't worry about that. I'm the only one that reads that. So tell you what, in that space, please come up with your quick version. Tell you what, I'll give you two options. Either A, leave us your idea for a combination of Disney characters slash a movie or TV show and, and how that would mash up. Or tell us who you think in the Disney universe would play us. Um, that should be kind of interesting as well. So you got uh, you got two different options there in the uh, old review section. Um, Lainey, where can we find you on the web? Uh, you can find me on uh, my Instagram and my Twitter, which I'm slowly trying to get back on. Um, both are it's a Lainey bird, just like it's a Wendy bird. See, it's a Disney reference. It's there you go. Cyrus, where can we find you online? Uh, pretty much anything, anywhere you want. Just look up Cyrus Martin, all one word, or uh, go on YouTube, videogamevirus.com, uh, videos and stuff like that. So, Which he's actually just released some really interesting videos. He just got a hold of a uh, new quote-unquote video game system. Uh, but yeah, check those out. It definitely, definitely uh, good things to watch. Lewis, where can we find you on the web? You know where to find me. <laughs> Can't find anywhere else. <laughs> The they gave us the that, was, that was your softball, Gene. That was the softball. It was like the end of the first Batman. They gave us Cogsworth the softball. Cogsworth is not amused, guys. That, that, that was a softball, Eugene. You had it right there. Plug the side. Of course, you can find him at Hexmex on uh, Twitter, but you can also find him at EpicallyGeeky.com. And as for me, you can find me. Uh, you can find me pretty much anywhere you see at Optimus Gene, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. That's where I'll be at. Um, I'm trying really hard to get the next couple of videos uh, out that I'm working on. Um, as everybody knows, I built a, a proton pack, and I'm actually going to go back and talk about the building of it step by step. So uh, that's probably going to be several videos. I'll have those out hopefully within the next couple of weeks. Uh, so make sure you check in on that. For everyone on the Epically Geeky Show, have a good night.